Start by taking the printables from our blog and cutting out each blind bag. We printed ours on shiny photo paper, but you can also use regular printer paper and cover each blind bag with packaging tape. Since photo paper is thicker than regular paper, we're going to peel off the back layer and only use the top layer for our blind bag. This way it'll give it a blind bag feel and look. Your printable should feel really thin and it might start to curl up. It's supposed to do that. Take your X-Acto knife or your thumbtack and score on the lines. There should only be three places to score, the two tabs and the center fold. You want to score it so it's easier to fold and glue together. Now you can fold the tabs, turn it upside down, apply glue on the tabs, and then just fold up the back part of the bag. Now you have your Shopkins blind bag and you can put little surprises right inside. For Delish Donut, we're using a pony bead and because it's so tiny, I'm gonna hold it in place with my tweezers and then take my glittery pink puffy paint to apply the frosting on top. To add the blue shoes, I'm using a puffy paint and I'm applying it on the bottom of the donut. To make Libby Lips, you'll need a toothpick and three strips of scrap paper, each one smaller than the first. Take your toothpick, cut off the end, and then using a nail file, you might need to sand any rough edges. Now cut it to about an inch in length and again, file down any rough edges. Paint the top portion of the Lippy Lips a bright pink. You don't have to paint the whole stick because we're gonna cover that. Start by wrapping Lippy Lips with the largest strip of paper that you have. Use glue stick, apply it to the paper and wrap it around your toothpick. Using the same method, wrap around the medium strip of paper. And last, you can add on the smallest strip of paper. This makes your little Lippy Lip Shopkins. So tiny and so cute. For the top and middle tier, you'll want to paint them a gold. And then for the bottom, you'll paint it the same color pink you used for the lipstick. For Cookie Cookie, I'm using a craft foam and I'm using a hole punch to punch out a circle. And I'm just gonna take a little chunk out of the right top to make it look like a bite. And then holding it with my tweezers again, I'm going to carefully apply all the chocolatey chips on Cookie Cookie using a puffy paint. Now you can leave room at the bottom if you wanna draw Cookie Cookie's face. I did that here using a toothpick to draw on the eyes and the mouth, and then I added pink beads on the bottom of Cookie Cookie for the shoes. So these are our Shopkins. The ones on the left are before we add the face, and the ones on the right are complete. And these Shopkins are the perfect size for your dolls, and they fit in the blind bag printables. So you can fill up all your blind bags with these cute crafted Shopkins. Or if you want to make a lot of blind bags but don't want to craft that many Shopkins, you can take different shaped beads and just stick them inside and close up the bag. That way you have a lot of Shopkins blind bags and you can leave out the ones that you made. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more blind bags. Leave a comment below telling us what your favorite Shopkins is and subscribe to our channel to become an AGI crafter. We want to give a shout out to all of our fans that asked for Shopkins. Thanks for the request and just craft it.